Happy Thursday, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for today, May 20th, Thursday. You pick a card, main energy. I pull it all together so all cards are for us. May 20th birthdays will get to you next. If you pick card number one, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a warning that um, if something is too good to be true is what I'm picking up for someone out there, um, a business deal or whatever it is connected to finances. Um, be careful because someone is trying to take advantage of you. So just know what you are agreeing to when it comes to finances today. So I do see that. I see a lot of business focus, but uh, for some of you, this is um, talks of money is what I want to feel. Okay, so maybe this is um, wanting to, I want to say, uh, agree to something. This could be uh, doing some official business, banking, whatever it is. Maybe you're waiting for something. This could be for property, um, real estate, or wills, whatever it is. You have to be patient. Patience. It's, it's, it takes its time. So again, you'd want to make sure that anything to do with finances, money making, um, like proposals, too good to be true, Make sure you're not being used or trying to, um, you know, being dipped or duped. That's one thing I do feel here. Otherwise, it is a good energy. Money is on the mind for some of you. You are almost there is what I'm feeling too, okay? Card number two. The Ace of Wands. All right. What I'm feeling here is maybe there's been some change or adjustment in schedule. And this is a new way of doing things or it's a new path, a new, new, new something. You're a little bit negative about it. It's like you're like, okay, how how is this going to work now? How is this going to work? But the opportunity is there. Look at it as a new journey. You get there is what I'm feeling, Okay. So there's a little bit of like um, worry about starting things new or new idea or readjustment of schedule. I pick up the energy of a Cancer and an Aries here, okay? This can also be some kind of agreement or um, I want to say ultimatum for someone out there, but there could be some kind of agreements. Um, or trying to understand a point of view here. Either way, it is a new beginning here, okay? And it's usually very positive, so look at it in a positive light. If you pick card number three, you have the star. Here is a major arcana. Definitely new beginnings are here. There is something that's going to be offered. It's like you got to look around. The universe is giving you an indication that maybe some of your prayers or your hopes or your wishes have been answered. Or the opportunity is out there. Okay? But there's something here that the divine is trying to say, did you learn your lessons? If you did, then go forward. Because you, it's trying to close up a cycle here. So there are some endings here. Little bit of scattered energy. Know that um, like obstacles and delays are definitely in your favor. A new um, opportunity is coming up. This could be a monetary offer or something is going to be kind of shown or um, handed to you, so to speak. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Star. The Star. Star is beautiful, right? And it's a major arcana. We are seeing here today endings, new beginnings. It's a 10. We go into a 1, right? Maybe not the easiest energy, but take your knowledge. Take what you know. Work with what you got and start with this new beginning. Because I promise you, it's going to blossom. Look at that. It blossoms, okay? It's adjustments. Um, trying to balance the energies today. There's almost like an imbalance, so you're trying to juggle things today. And instead of being positive about it, you're kind of like pessimistic or you're allowing these negative thoughts to come in. You may not be too happy with it, but it will blossom, okay? 
Um, so patience, doing things differently, getting different results, adjusting your lifestyle. Not, okay, not lifestyle. Well, maybe lifestyle, but um, your everyday duties or every way, you know, your routines. There's something there from ending to new beginning, but we're kind of trying. Um, we need to relax a little, okay? New opportunities are going to present themselves. Um, you know, maybe something that's been confusing, some information or even a secret may be revealed. That's coming in. Because, you know, I see here victory. I see here um, good energies, things that we've been worried or kind of obsessive about or saying, oh, no, why should I change my schedule? Why should I do that? Those worries and that's going to leave you. You're going to see it's going to blossom, okay? I do pick up also a Sagittarius energy for some reason. And you get what you want. You will. We will get what we want. And sometimes in a surprise when we least expect it, when we do take this new path and move forward. That is the energy I'm picking up today strongly, okay? Have a happy Thursday, everyone. Happy birthday if you are born today, May 20th. This is a very general uh, solar your theme and wish card. Let's see. Oh, wow. Star next to the star. This is interesting, isn't that? Star is really big today, too. Um, you need to meditate and get some rest this year, meaning take time to meditate, do yoga, whatever you call meditation. Some people running, jogging, uh, running, um, or just exercising, whatever it is, it is, it's your time where you are taking a break because your affirmations, your wishes, you need to pay attention. It's like the universe will be sending you some kind of breadcrumbs. You have high, high manifestation this year. Um, you can manifest a lot, but of course, if your vibration is low, you can manifest negativity. So you want to manifest the best. For a lot of you, you will have so many epiphanies that you will have so many changes of perspective and uh, what you want and don't want is what I'm feeling, okay? Some of you will be making some serious commitments this year. And this is joining groups. This is uh, the way you think, even making goals for yourself, okay? For some of you, we'll be going back to school. Education is profoundly shown here too, is what I'm picking up. When it comes to work, school, or um, career, I do feel that um, maybe you're feeling stuck because you don't know which way to go. Or you're like, you know, I'd like to do this, but look, I'm working. How am I going to manage my time? So you're feeling kind of stuck. It's like, I have to sacrifice this to be able to do this, but how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? While you are thinking that meditating, like I said, meditating again, you will get the answers. Brainstorming, solutions will come through. Delays will be um, favorable for you this year too. So obstacles will be, there's a reason for them. Um, I do feel that some of you may be feeling stuck where you are, but things will work out for you. I do feel that, um, um, that, so if you don't like your job or whatever it is, um, uh, things will, opportunities will be open and presented themselves to you. Okay. When it comes to, um, finances, Lots of creativity and creative solutions. You can manage very well. That means you can manage to spend, save. You have very good energy. You can also manifest what you want there too. So keep it positive and also be careful. Make sure if you're in sales, because you probably will be doing very well, be honest. Integrity is also um, showing up with finances. So that I am seeing here. You definitely have the golden touch with finances this year. When it comes to love, if you are single, be open. There is a faded energy. Okay, be more adventurous. Don't hold on to energy. What will be will be. And you, and I do see love coming in. It's it's something unexpected. If you are in a relationship, there is a sense of a new um, bonding, a new, it's like uh, being more lighthearted, going out, dating, rekindling the relationship. Okay, I do feel that energy. I feel there's a lot of more, you know, love. Maybe you'll be surprised by your partner hearing, oh, how much that person loves you in a different way or something. You know what I mean? Uh, for some of you, a child is coming in very strongly. So if you do have children, one of your children is going to be um, um, in significance this year. But I think it's good energy for the rest of you. Maybe talking to have children or adopt um, or children are coming through. For all relationships, I do feel that there are... Um, there is a lot of um, 
uh, business networking and also making decisions where you will um, start deciding who you're going to keep in your inner circle or not because I think you're going to be purging a lot. You're going to be looking for your long-term, um, so, um, you know, um, time and investments you put into others. So I do see that energy, okay? All right, your wish for your solar year is the Ten of Wands. I'm going to tell you this. Your wait is over for some of you. It was worth the wait because I do see it's a yes answer. For others, I do feel um, it comes in as a blessing. Uh, you, you've either manifest, you're going to be manifesting this and it's going to come out it's like a spiritual blessing um, or someone is going to help assist this, okay? I do feel very good energy. It's a yes. All right, so the important numbers for your solar year, four, one, 22, 5, 7, 16, 11, 10, and 98. That's how I came up. I wish you a very happy birthday and a wonderful solar year ahead and everyone else a wonderful Thursday and bye for now.